My name's Karen Mucklesaw and I'm the president of iFoam Organics International. We're here at COP27 in Egypt talking about agroecology and organic systems and how they can help build resilience to climate change. We just had a event with IPS Food uh, looking at COVID and climate and also conflict and how those things are all impacting on agricultural production and how we need to transform our food systems using agroecology to build resilience, how it can help not only help mitigate climate change, so sequester carbon in the soil and support transition that way, but also how it can help us adapt to climate change through building more systems that are more resilient through greater biodiversity, both below ground and above ground, helping to preserve our water and clean our water sources, helping increase things that are so important in the system like pollinators and other ecosystem services that can be provided through ag agroecological farming systems. We do need to transform our food system. We realise it's vulnerable. We realise that it doesn't handle shocks well. But we also realise that everyone is in a different place in this transition. And there needs to be a lot of support to farmers to enable the transition so that we don't go from a bad situation to a worse situation, but we put in place the policy and the practice, the practical support like extension and advisory services to farmers, as well as some of the things we need like access to uh, appropriate inputs, to agroecological inputs and services, to the right seeds that are local, indigenous, grow in the environments that where we need to produce our food. I'm here at COP as president of iFoam Organics International, but I'm also here in my role with the Pacific community to support Pacific Island delegates in the negotiations for COP. So I've been following the Coronivia joint work program, uh, the negotiations there, and trying to work with our members in the Pacific to find a way forward to keep agriculture and food systems on the agenda at COP and to get a greater, I guess, precedence for it in the discussions going forward. It's a critical area, both for achieving our climate ambitions, but also for adaptation going forward.